And the crowd at Nicholson Stadium, and the crowd at Nicholson Stadium chanting Moose, as in Moose Ramsey, first year head coach, pride of East Liverpool, former football wrestler at East Liverpool High School, and now part of that great police department. They do a great job. But he is all about Wellsville football, and they're practicing late, folks. As we go to tape, it's pushing 9 o'clock, and he is still at Nicholson Stadium. Tigers back to back five and five seasons, young and green around the edges. So, coach. These are the seniors right here. So let's begin with some people that you're going to count on. Talk about your seniors. Uh, Mr. Pratt, we're, we're counting on our front five linemen. Uh, we've got, uh, we got uh, one senior there. We've got uh, three returning total. And we've got a new, uh, new senior that's coming in. First time he's played since a uh, long time. But uh, that big thing, Pearson, he's, uh, he's turned it around for himself. And uh, he's... Six foot four, three hundred and five pounds, and uh, he's, he's moving well. We're, we're counting on that front five. All right, there is the team photo right there. Talk about your coaches who are helping you this year, Coach. Uh, we got uh, John Carter, uh, who is our offensive coordinator, uh, who was a great athlete himself down here in Wellsville. We got Sonny Carter, who is our quarterback coach. Which uh, his name speaks for itself. What a great quarterback he was down here. Led the team to a uh, state runner-up. Back in the '94 season, uh, we've got uh, Jim Marcarazzi, the old guy of the staff. Uh, he's my voice of reasoning. Uh, he's got 30 years of experience, and uh, man, we're just glad to have him with us. We got Robbie Long helping out with the uh, linebackers in the line, and we got Pat Wright, our newcomer, who's helping out with the uh, receivers and uh, the corners. All right, now listen, folks. Again, you've got to get your hands on this if you haven't, wherever the East Liverpool Review is sold. They did a fabulous job this year. That's their high school football preview, and we're talking about the Wellsville Tigers. And uh, Chris Rambo, staff writer, uh, did a nice story on them with a lot of good photos to go along with it. He talked about some of the starters back on offense, five on defense, uh, Lyman, Ryan Miller, Cage, Ramos, and Justin 30-acre. But here's the guy who's going to be carrying a rock coach right here. He's running back Derek Suggs. Let's talk about this young man, Derek Suggs. Uh, Derek Suggs has had a great camp, Rob. Uh, and he just keeps getting better and better every day. Uh, his vision of the field is unbelievable. His work ethic is second to none. Uh, we're excited to see what he's going to do tomorrow night for us. Yeah, by the way, tomorrow night you're at Beaver Local, Mike McKenzie. They're in the middle of a bonfire. We're going to try to talk to him before the night is out here at Legacy Studios. September the 1st, Edison. September the 8th, Lowellville. A couple of home games, Nicholson Stadium. Then on the road the 15th at Lisbon. Back home against Palestine on the 22nd. The 29th at United. October the 6th at Columbiana. October 13th at Southern. October 20th at Latonia. October 27th at Toronto. Richie Wright, of course, at Southern now. One time Wellsville coach, Beaver local coach. A tremendous athlete in his own right during his high school days. Just a whole experience. Head coach, here you are in Wellsville, which uh, you never had the chance to play. I still think they should bring that rivalry back against East Liverpool. But you understand the tradition there. You understand what Main Street in Wellsville is all about. You understand what Broadway in Wellsville is all about. These are streets of some of the greatest people that live in that community, and they would love to see the orange and black come back and play a better than five and five season, Coach. Uh, Rob, we're, we're all on board with that. And uh, the way that the camp that these kids have had, uh, we, we believe we could do something special down here this year. I mean, some people are doubting us that, uh, you know, we can't compete with some of the bigger teams on our schedule. But uh, this staff and these players, uh, that's not an option. That is not an option. We're, uh, we're ready to play some football. Listen, something you always like to do as a player, and I'll drink to that a little Gatorade, you like to swarm to the football. You like to be physical. Out of that 4-3 defense, that's what you're expecting of these defensive players, to swarm to the football and be physical. Uh, our goal is 11 half on the ball every play. Coach, Wellsville, the football mentality, not that much different than anybody else. But one of the things that a lot of teams are struggling with are numbers. And i got to tell you, this team photo, you did some kind of number because a lot of kids came out. you got to be happy with the turnout and people participating in football at Wellsville High School. Because, let's face it, there are a lot more things for these young people to do today than play football. So that shows a lot of respect for Wellsville, and that must make you feel good. Uh, it's a great feeling, Rob. We've got 32 young men out here that uh, gave up their summer. Uh, to be part of something special, and uh, we're grateful for that. All right, I got to ask you in closing, and again, thank you so much for time here, just hours before your first game of the season. You know, you played football. You you got a competitive edge to to you to this day, 
and you've been around some great coaches in your lifetime, one in particular, wrestling coach Nick Trombetta, and no one can motivate more. You had to have a few quiet moments under the bleachers, you know, one of those WPA stadiums built many years ago uh, during the Depression that has been rebooted a couple of times and looks actually spectacular, but still it's got that old flavor, that old feel to it. you got to harken back to some of those speeches that Coach Trombetta gave you, your football coaches gave you, and now you're the guy. That's got to be a little surreal at times, right? It's, coach, it's, it, it's amazing to... Uh... For the experiences that I've had with the, the great coaches, with uh, Coach Trumbetta, Coach Stair, Coach Glenn Southern, uh, it, it, now I just hope I can live up to uh, what they taught me and, and put it to our kids the way they put it to me. High school football, how would you grade it 2017? You've been a fan for a long time. You've done some coaching, but now you're eating, breathing, sleeping, talking nothing but football. You know, with everything that's happening in the world today, and especially, you know, injuries such as concussions. We talked to Dr. Edward Schnell last night, who happens to be the team doc for Brooke and also does wonders with Indian Creek, a team that's very familiar in these parts, uh, the old Wintersville. I just... How, how do you rate high school football and where it's at on the popularity chart right now, Coach? Uh, you know, it, the numbers are falling off for everybody. But uh, for the coaches that are involved, the, the players that are involved, there's nothing like a Friday Night Lights, man. And it's uh, it's something special when these kids are giving up their summer to be part of it. And uh, we're excited to see what happens tomorrow night. Listen, I can't thank you enough. Beaver Local, Mike McKenzie, head coach, did some time coaching at Weir High. They're a running team. they got a 4-4 defense. Names like Clendenning, Givens, and Callie are going to be looking at. Luke Call back a quarterback after an ACL tear last year. And the Beavers return eight on defense. Bruce Palmer, former Campbell coach, is their defensive coordinator. Zach Thomas, Andrew Gibson, Parker Summers, Chad Hayes, Mays, some other guys as well, too. In closing, I, 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 I'm just asking some thoughts about Beaver Local on the road tomorrow night. And here comes the uh, uh, broadcasting 101 uh, cliche. You got your work cut out for you. We do, we do, Rob. And uh, you know, it, it, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a struggle out there. But uh, you know, the players are believing in themselves. The staff believes in them, and uh, we're optimistic of what's going to happen tomorrow. And I think good things will uh, will turn our way tomorrow night. All right, folks, there you go. Wellsville football. Moose Ramsey. Coach, I love you. I've uh, been a fan of yours for a long time. I have a lot of respect for you and what you do in the community, and Wellsville couldn't be in better hands. God bless. Full speed ahead, and best of luck this year. Thank you, Rob, and uh, go Tigers. We'll be back. Stay with us.